Hello, how do that chums? I'm in your PlayStation today, and I'm playing No Man's Sky. Heck yes, I am. Just sort of finishing off some loose ends when it comes to upping my sort of ranking with the new autophage race. Yes, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm still going to do a lot with the freaking outlaws, to be honest, as well. So, yeah, anyway, it's the autophages that I'm focusing on right now. We've only got 196 words out of 250. I have been told that there's 600 freaking words to learn, so that could take me a little while. I've also got to do two more missions today to hit that 20 to move up onto the next rank. I've also got to do some more repairs, so hopefully I'll get sent on a repair mission. But there we go, people. I've also got to um, get some radiant shards which probably means go into one of those systems that have got the radiant shards on i'm sure i've had more than that <laughs> anyways let's uh, let's just uh, move on out i picked up void eyes last time so yes i got void eyes as a, as a ranking which is pretty darn cool strange art isn't it anyway we enter into the void well i hope we do at some point Right, I've got to debrief my frigates because that's another thing I'm doing at the moment. I'm trying to get my piratey frigates up to S class. So it's just something that I'm doing sort of ambiently while I'm doing this. I like to multitask. There we go. We've got quite a lot of bits and bobs from there. Albion Pearls, lovely, lovely. Iridescite. I've got nothing too interesting there, but there we go. We've got some activated idiom as well. Now, I was toying with the idea of getting a rusted metal farm so I can turn rusted metal into the chappies on planets, you know, these autophages, but I have been told that if I just put some pure ferrite inside of here, some pure ferrite, along with some oxygen, 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 where are you? It should give me rusted metal. So thank you very much. Someone in my comments hit me up with that one. So that's a pretty cool little nifty sort of tip. There you go. I'd, I'd have that sort of making myself some rusted metal there, people in the background. But yes, you can create rusted metal farms, but it seems to be that that's quite an easy method, to be honest, isn't it? There you go. Tried and tested and it freaking works, people. Aha! Chicka pow pow, chicka boom boom. Right, so, oh. Hold on, that's my doorbell. Well, I'm back, chums. Now I've got something to show you in a moment. I'm just going to start warping my freighter to another system. One second. So I'm going to go to another Viking system, I think. There we go. We'll go to that one. Sweet. Okay, we're on our way there, people. While we're on the way there, I'll show you what the postman brought me. Look at that! Captain Steve! It says Captain Steve on there. Whenever I get a parcel that says Captain Steve on it, I know it's going to be from a viewer or member of mine, a backer. So let's open up this. Let's see what one of my members would send me. Holy fuck. Oh, I think this might be from Dutch 66. Okay, so one second. Here we go. What does it say? Sadly, I was un unable to get this to you in time for the meetup. I decided to send it to you instead as a thanks for everything you do for the community. Enjoy it. Dutch 66 in bracket, Andy. Andy, you're a freaking legend, Andy. Heck yes, you are. Thank you very much, Dutch 66. Right, well, let's get this out of the bubble wrap and let's see it in all of its majestic awesomeness. So, yeah, Dutch 66 sent me a few messages around this box on the lead up to the meetup showing the progress of it oh it's epic okay one second let's just get all this bubble wrap off i'll tell you what i'll get back to you when i've got the bubble wrap off <laughs> right, people. well okay then take a look at this people look at that isn't that freaking awesome holy fudgeonory that's great look it's even got the portal codes on it and stuff as well oh that's so sweet andy you've outdone yourself this is Freaking sweet as, mate. Really cool. Look at a little hinge on there. And it opens up. Oh, look, there's there's a picture inside as well, peeps. Oh, that's so awesome. Andy, that is freaking snaz. That's well snazzy. Well, I'm, I'm well impressed with that, people. Heck yes. Oh, look, it's got all this cut-out text, and it's all sort of embossed, the catered on there as well. That's actually yellow. The green screen sort of cutting it out. Usually yellow's okay. But thank you very much, Andy. You know what? Andy does take the odd commission on these as long as he's got time to make them. He can do them. Um, I don't know how much he charges for them or anything like that, but I put his Twitter details inside of the video description. 
And yeah, be sure to check him out. See if you can, if you want one, hit him up. Tell him what you're after. Maybe he can put something together for you. That is freaking awesome. Thank you very much, Andy. Anyways, I guess back into game then, people. <laughs> Chicka boom. And I'm back on over inside of No Man's Sky. I also grabbed myself myself a lovely cup of tea, people. And yeah, got my own brew going on. Again, links are in the video description to any merch that I have on my channel, people. And my own brew of tea. Yes, you can buy Captain Steve Brew. It's a breakfast tea. It's freaking nice. Some good cup of tea. Sorry there, people. So yeah, fan mail, a cup of tea, a little bit of a merch plug. Yeah, you're definitely on YouTube, aren't you? <laughs> right. Anyway, let's head on down. You're probably getting that break now as well. Yeah. Oh, oh YouTube. Yeah, fun times. Anyways, let's have a look around for my ship and ship ship. Lovely jubbly. Let's head on over here. I did debrief, but I didn't send out new frigate missions. Ah! Done it. I need to do that because there's a good chance we might be able to come back to those later. Boom! And I need to see if my frigates have actually upgraded. Luckily, you can see it from this menu. Hello, mate. Yes, I want to view your expeditions. I want a nice, quick one. We're going to go for this one here. Yeah. And let's see if they've up up upgraded. No, nope, we've still only got one B, and the other two are still on C class. Dang it. Okay. Right. Well, let's go this way then. Let's put in. Let's just put in a couple of support ships. I think. Dungeons and Dragons, there we go. And go, off into yonder with you, frigates. Cool, there we are. So that one's gonna take an hour and 30 odd minutes, peeps. So not too long. Right, now I can go to my ship. I should have scanned the planets inside this system as well. Yeah, I've been thrown through a loop this morning with that lovely, awesome, beautiful box. I guess I have. Now I've got to find a home for it. This is a very small little room. You know what? If I am doing the meetup next year, it's something I can always take along to the meetup and give away as a prize inside the meetup, even though I do really like that box myself. And it would be nice to find something to put in it and to house in it. I guess let's head on over this way. Could put all my, my No Man's Sky type stuff. Or I could take it to the meetup, laden with all the stuff that I want to give away in the raffle, but then just take the box home. <laughs> or you could give it to Hello Games. I'll see. I'll see how it goes. But thank you very much, Dr. 66 Andy. Very, very creative of the Hercules. Lovely. Well, even if I do have it in my room for a year, you know, because the meetup's like once a year, at least it's got pride of place for a year. I can enjoy it for a year before I take it to the meetup. I think that's probably the nicest of ideas, isn't it? Righto. Well, I've already upgraded my multi-tool. What I'm hoping to find is a pulse spitter module inside of here. S-Class. Hello there, buddy. If he hasn't got it, he hasn't got it. Well, let's go see. I mean, this was just random, wasn't it? Neutron cannon and mining beam. Hold on. I think this might be the system I went to before, people. No, nope, apparently not. Just discovered today. All right, fine. Well, I found the neutron cannon and the mining laser in a previous episode. That's so freaking random, isn't it? All right, well, let's head on over. Let's go talk to these guys over here. Let's see if any of these guys can teach me some words. Hello, it's me. Yeah, lovely. Well, I haven't been here. I just wanted to double check. All right, mate. Well, here we go. Request dialect help. Right, I'm going to chat up all of these Viking up here, and then I'll be right back with you people. Okay, so this is the last of these guys that I need to chat to. So there we go. I've learned quite a fair few new words. I wouldn't say any of them were too tantalising. It's like that one product. There seems to be a lot more trade words, and I got the word for business pop up and stuff like that. I'm wondering whether they might be doing some sort of giant trade overhaul at some point with these races. They've added in a lot of lingo around trade, is what I'm saying, pips. Yeah, and that might not sound too interesting to a lot of people, but to me, considering that there's a few pillars to No Man's Sky, they've got exploration, trade, survive and fight. They've been working on fight and survive for some time. Exploration got a bit of a look in Origins, but trade hasn't really had much done to it since day freaking dot. So I'm hoping, you know, all this sort of like standing that you get and stuff with different races. I'm hoping that they tie that in a little bit more. 
you know, and into stuff to do with trade. So if you've got a healthy relationship with the autophage, maybe they're going to give you special bargain autophagy things, or Viking or Gek or whatever. Because at the moment, upping your actual rating with any of these races doesn't do all that much, to be honest, people in the view of us. Anyway, I'll see you down on the planet. I'm going to go break the atmosphere and search for a trading post. So I'll see you at the trading post so we can talk to some more Viking there. Well, I'm completely missed. Every single one of the landing pads, I don't know how that happened, but it just freaking did. Okay, well, let's fly on up then, people. They were green, I was pressing land, it just decided to land wherever it fudging wanted. We have just had a new patch going, people, which supposedly makes creatures poop more. I've never had a problem with my creatures not pooping, but apparently there was a problem with creatures pooping, and that's just now gone in. Anyways, let's uh, talk to this guy. Request dialect help. Yes, I guess. So yeah, I'm going to start learning the language of these little chappies here, but you know what? For you guys on the screen while I'm doing this, I put the patch notes up so you can read those people. I guess. Anyway, I'm going to learn some words and drink some tea. It's a good cup of tea, people. Hopefully you're enjoying your patch notes. There's, there's a couple there, aren't there, that are kind of interesting. Yeah, so there it went in. All those patches are now into system. So hopefully, if you had any of those bugs, they're now rectified, people inside the viewerverse. To be honest, I haven't really had many of those hounding me, to be fair. All right, though, but it's good to see. It's good to see. No, I do not want you on my weapons terminal, even though you're in some pretty gnarly red and white and black gear but you, you look deeny diny maybe you're not you're just sitting down aren't you it's perspective why are you glowing green i don't know where he is or whether that's a light on the outside of the freaking training post oh it's a light i can see it between his legs okay cool yeah done dilly and done we've learned a load of new words for the viking people now we need to find ourselves a phage camp so let's go and do that peep there we go boom locating phage camp Nice. How far away is that, though? Let's have a look, see, peeps. It could be miles. Could be really close. Who knows? There we go. Um, scanner, 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 scanner. Oh, it's only 800 odd views. I could run there. You know what? I'm going to run there, and I can call my ship over, can't I? I'll see you there in a moment, people. Well, we have arrived, Decatur, in style. There we go. Boom. Let's scan these auto pages. Ah, fudging heck. I nearly ended up inside that box. That could have been dangerous to my health, couldn't it? Like an inverse Houdini. Right, okay. Let's um, go and speak to this chappy. Hello, mate. Uh, does your mum know you've got her best tea cloth on your head? There we go. Let's um, let's talk to this guy. Right, then. Here we go. Um, I'm going to practice language first like I normally do. I'm going to learn a word of the auto page. Of course. There we go. Friendship symbol, please. Nice. We've well learned the word for assist. Okay, well let's um let's assist him then with something. Offer assistance. Repair lost autophage. Yes, I need to do that. Okay, start mission. I will be back. I will fix your mate. Heck yes. Now let's go over to see this guy. No, oh, you've got a tablecloth on your head as well. What the fuck is going on here? And did I miss the memo? Right, there we go. Request dialect help. And let's see what we get here. Lovely. New word? Aid. Assistant aid. We're learning quite a lot of autophagy stuff to do with helping them. Anyway, offer assistance. What have we got here? Collect chromatic metal. I've got shed loads of the stuff, buddy. You can have it straight away. Look at that, completed. I mean, like, freaking like a ninja. Warrior! Okay, right. I've, I've spoken to this guy, haven't I? Yes, yes. I've got to speak to your mate. Okay, there's only two autophages at this bloody camp. Is that it? Okay, well, that's... That sucks. Anyway, we've reached... Oh, no, there's one more that's just appeared out of nowhere. Hello there, chappy. Okay, let's see what he needs. Let's, um, firstly, let's learn a word. I'm going to learn your words. Learn your words. Request dialect help. Heck yes. Yes, give me a word for feel. How's that a mystery? All right, well, um, let's uh, talk... To... Oh, look, there we go. We've just popped a new title. I didn't see what that was because I went into here too quickly. Okay, repair lost autophage. We've got two of them. That's good. Okay. And uh, yeah, I missed the actual badge that popped up there. It was freaking lightning quick, wasn't it? All right. Well, anyway, I can call my ship over here and then we can take on off to the skies and go and fix that autophage. All right. Cool. 
Is he in the same system? He is. He's just over there. Cool. We can go there right now. We can go and fix that auto badge. Let's take an offer. Well, let's go do that one first. Lovely, lovely. Okay, well, I'll see you at the next camp, people. And I might as well talk to all the autophages there and do all their missions. It's just going to be a repeat of what I've done there. Okay. I'll do that, John. So where it said Void Eyes, it now says Wild Spark. So I guess that's what I just managed to get. I need to complete 20 missions, so I only need to do one more, which we're doing right now. We're now on 201 words, and we're just about to repair an autophage so let's go do that really i should just go to one of those radiant planets and we could just go gather a load of freaking things couldn't we all right so um i need to scan first to find where i've got to go 95 views this way all right well it's probably where this flashing blue thing is i've just used my blinking scanner now so and i don't see all the sort of like plumes of smoke around here and i don't know whether there's going to be other autophages anyway we're going to fix this little chap hello there chum Let's get that fixed. There you are. Hope you're happy now. No me memory. Deserves erasure. There you go. Have some Atlantium, my friend. The eighth. And it gives code. Yes, that, you can decipher a code all of that. And it says, like, um, the Void Mother or something like that. Void Mother, yeah, that's what it says. Anyway, let's do a little scan around here. There we go. There's a freaking ton of them. Hello there, guys. Yep, yeah, salute to Mondo indeed. Hello there, chap. Okay, let's see what... Um, so we can learn some words. So I'm just going to learn the words. I'm going to do their missions. And um, we're checking at the end of this and see how we're doing. Okay, Jums. I just spoke to them and pretty much every single one of them gave me a repair autophage mission. So I could be here a long time going around repairing autophages. Now you just saw me repair one. I don't think you really want to see me repair another freaking six of them or whatever I've just picked up. So, um... Yeah, I'll reconvene in a bit when I've repaired a load. Okay, Jums, I'm just handing in the last one of those auto page missiones. Hand on in. Pow, pow. Now, what I didn't do is to each camp that I went to, I didn't pop more auto phages because I could have just ended up chasing my tail forever in an ever ending loop of fixing auto phages. But let's see how we got on today, people, shall we? So, back into here and into there. Sorry, I got hiccups. And here we go. So we've now completed six. We've done six of them. I guess we have. We went up to 217 words and we've completed 25 missions. So now we've got to get up to 30 missions. So hopefully we'll do that tomorrow, people. So I'm not in any eager rush to do this. Yes, I could carry on doing this all day, but it would bore me to tears. So I tend to do it in the mornings, have a little cup of tea while I'm getting ready to slip into work mode. Yes, it's extremely early, people. lovely jobs anyway thank you very much for watching and uh, thank you very much oh no I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself people i'm gonna hit stop now i'm gonna go refresh my brew and all that sort of shenanigans and uh, come back with you with the uh debriefing of my frigates in about an hour's time people so don't go away Okay, people, well, i figured we might as well make a start on the radiant shards i'm going into the galactic map Okay, so now I want to look for a dissonant system. So you see where it says water in orange there? I'm looking for the word dissonant. There you go, there's one there. And it's Viking. Perfect. We'll go there, people. Yeah, because what I'm going to do is run around on the planet, shoot a load of radiant shards, but also hit up knowledge stones so I learn a bit more Viking. Oh, and would you look at this? Luck be had it. It's actually a star bulb planet. Now, what I would say, people, is when really you go into dissonant systems, if you chuck it into um, difficulty mode and put it into creative, hopefully when you're on the planet, you're not going to encounter any of the corrupted sentinels. Or if you do, they're not going to attack you because you're in creative and they can't kill you. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it in creative mode. I left, left it in creative mode to do all those missions super quick with the auto pages. And a bit of a heads up, people, if you do change your difficulty settings and you're hoping to get the permadeath or survival trophies for doing the whole freaking game, they won't pop. So only really play with your difficulty settings if you've done all that. Really, I wish that they would have put that feature behind some sort of wall that you only unlock it after you've managed to platinum the game or something. That'd make a lot more sense, wouldn't it? Anyway, let's head on down and let's uh, see what we have here. Coolio. Again, we're just like before. I popped myself a trading pest. Let's go and speak to these little chappies. Okay, 
I say little. They're quite big, to be honest. You would want to meet them in the dark alley. Heck no, you wouldn't. You would want to meet them in any alley. Hello there, chappy. There we are. Aggression symbol. Well, this list is not shrinking. So it seems that there's a lot more Viking words. I'd imagine there's just as many for Gek and also callbacks. To me, this signifies that there might be a massive great big new story arc being added in. Otherwise, why are we learn so many new words? I'm hoping we get to visit some of their home worlds. That'd be freaking epic, wouldn't it? But you can only but hope. I am doing a 1616 podcast with good old Kurt and the No Man's Sky Assistant app. He's found a few things inside of the game files that he wants to bring to my attention, so I can't wait to see what he's found. He's already hit me up with some of the new Quicksilver items, and some of them look pretty good. Oh, did you see that? The list has gone down to three things now with that one. Are you already showing us visited? You are. Dang it, is there another one that I can visit? I think there's one more over in this corner. Let's see how many is in the list now. Normally there's four to choose from. I'm sure that just went down to three. So let's have a look, see. Have we cleared one? We have! We've cleared one! We've cleared one in this episode, people. So we're starting to exhaust the new words of the Viking. Hmm, there's still a lot to go, though. Still a lot to go. Hopefully, as we get nearer to the end of this list, we might get to see some more fantangly ones. I don't know, though. Don't know. Anyways, there we go. We've hit on that. I need to go and get myself some Radiant Shards. Oh, are you Radiant Shards right here? I, I, I think that one is maybe Radiant Shardy? Yes, Radiant Shards. I can't remember whether you blast these or whether you... um. Yeah, you do. You blast them. Okay, cool. Well, that's um, that answered. Neutron cannon. Oh, where's my... Where's my blinking... I just want the... There we go. Runic lens. I was looking for mining beam, people. Look at that. It just shreds, doesn't it? Freaking great. Okay, so we're getting a load of Elantium as well. So let's see how I'm doing on Radiant Shards now. Is that all I need to do to up my status with radius, rad, um, Radiant Shards? Yes, there you go. We've got seven of them already. So you know what? I'm just going to walk around this planet, blast in a few of those. But in between doing that, I want to find myself some knowledge stones. I mean, look, there's loads of radiant shards on this planet. I've hit the freaking jackpot. What I'm not seeing, though, is any blinking knowledge stones to learn some more words of the actual race here. Oh, well. Um, all right, fine. Well, we'll, we'll head on over to some more radiant shards. Why has that one got sentient? OK, sentient echo. We'd head the, oh look, there is a knowledge stone right there on yonder hill, 245 views away. So I'm going to hit up knowledge stones. What I do is hit knowledge stone, radiant shard, knowledge stone, radiant shard. And hopefully that way I'm going to learn a couple of words and get a couple of radiant shards. And yeah, look, I mean, all these knowledge stones here should give me Viking words, people. So here we go, remove. And congratulations. All right, fine. Okay, Radiant Shard this way, 300 and something use, that's fine. Head on over there, and hopefully if I see some Knowledge Stones on the way, I'll hit those too. Um, yeah, okay, look, there's one, there's a Knowledge Stone just there, just sitting out there in the wild, just all willy-nilly like. There we go, let's go and hit that one up then. Trigger power, done. And there's another one just here, look at that, sweet, awesome. So yeah, this is a, this is a nice little side hustle, isn't it? This is quite a different, refreshing change from doing all those missions, and there's a Radiant Shard right there. So I'm just going to carry on doing this for a little while, people, until I get a little bit bored of doing it. And then, uh, yeah, you know what? I might put a base on this planet, because look, there's loads of Radiant Shards and Knowledge Stones. Oh, this is this is perfect for doing this. I guess it is. Then again, you know, I've got to do Gek yet. I've also got to do callback, so maybe there's no real over, over points. However, if they do add in some more words at some point, this could be quite handy and dandy, couldn't it? I'm hoping, you know, the droid planets, I'm hoping they add, like, knowledge stones on there and you can learn the sentient echo sort of language. That could work quite nicely, couldn't it? Well, look, loads of radiant shards there. OK, well, um, yeah, I haven't, man I haven't cut yet because I'm having so much fun. Take this, Radiant Shards! Thank you, Oz. Right here, people. I'll reconvene in a bit. Well, you know what, chums? I've actually decided to build a base here after all, just in case I need to come back to a dissonant Viking system for some reason. As we know, they've added in sort of, you know, Corvax, sort of monoliths and all sorts of weirdness who's to say they won't do something similar in the future so sod it i'm going to put a base here i'm going to keep it very unfunctional it's just going to be i, I might use you know the, all the new autophage bits and make like a little autophage camp here of my own yeah i'm going to do that 
Well, okay, there, chums. I've actually made my little base. I'm just going to upload it. I'm going to upload it in another 10 seconds. But just to show you my base, let's put the sun in the sky and let's take a look, see, shall we? So, yeah, I've got a little tent here with um, a little settee in it, the wire hider and stuff. Got all my power there. Got a nice little teleporter because you need one of those. Got a biofuel reactor. And I've got some plants to stick it in. And then over here, I've made this. It's like a little gun turret that I've just made here, just for show. I mean, it's not functional. It doesn't do fudge or nothing. Got an autophage head down there and a couple of hands. So it looks like the autophage has been blown up from on this little tower. But yeah, I think it looks quite cool, that little gun tower. So there we are. Done, diddly, and done. Heck yes. Lovely jobs. And it looks like it's looking out towards that lake, which I think is kind of nice. I think that works okay. So there we go, one little camp. Now let's go see if I can upload the base again. Yeah, because I've had to put it back into normal mode now so I can upload my base. There we go, hopefully that's going to register in normal mode. So if you guys want to come here and put down bases, then you're more than welcome to. Here you go, there's, um, there's the coordinates in the bottom left corner. Now, it's not part of the 905 hub, it's not a hub zone, knock yourself out, just don't build too close to other people's bases, including my own, heck no. Right, there we go people, done and dusted. Now when it comes to Viking words learned, I'm on 847, and we still haven't topped that out yet, even hitting up all those knowledge stones, so I've got a bit more to do there. We've also got some autophages to talk to. You know what? I might just do this on this planet tomorrow, people. We might hit up a few autophage camps, get some radiant shards, learn some more freaking stuff, and do some phage missions on this planet until we've topped this out. And then I might find a Gek system that's got a lovely sort of dissonant Gek world, and then a, a Corvax one. We'll just carry on doing that, peeps. Anyway, I need to go check on my frigate progress now. Well, how do the chums? I don't know if you can hear that, but I've got my windows closed and I can hear the wind in this room. It's freaking mental out there at the moment. Lots of rain and wind and stuff. Anyway, let's debrief the commander. Of course. Okay, right, cryo pump, Albion Pearl. We didn't get much this time, people. Let's just hope we've got a lot of experience and the ships have upgraded themselves to a B at least. Okay, let's go and have a little chat to this guy because we've made quite a lot of progress in today's episode people I'm quite happy with how today has gone view potential expeditions and I might as well pick up one that's a little bit longer um, two star I've never seen anything that's a three or four or five star in this list have you guys in the view of us ever seen like four star or five star when are we gonna get those I mean <laughs> my whole freaking fleet is freaking to the nines let's do a combat one since they're combat ships and we do the do we do the two star I don't know why this this one that's three hours. Oh, stop it! We do the longer one. Here we go then. Let's uh, let's pick these up. It's only one star, but there we go. We we'll send those out. I honestly don't know whether the stars mean anything or do anything. You know, it's it's a little bit of an oddity. We could do with a little bit of extra guidance around this sort of stuff at times. Anyway, there we go. Boom. Yeah, it'd be nice to see some more difficult ones rolling that give a heck of a lot of more experience or something. You know. Yeah, just saying. Anyway, there we go. That's those sent out. And I think that's about me done for today's episode, people. So I'm just going to go and hit on up a save on this manual save up here. And we'll be doing a bit more of this tomorrow. And I think we're just going to go back down to that Viking planet, hit up a load of autophage camps, hit on up a load of, um, you know, Viking words, hopefully get the Viking words maxed out. If Once we've done the Viking then I will probably look for a nice Gek or Corvax lush planet that's also dissonant. So have a little bit of fun trying to find planets to put bases on. And I might just build some little phage camps on them. Because why not, since we've got the parts? Heck yes. Anyway, people, thank you for watching. Till next time. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.